Is it just me or did the temperature just rise 10 degrees in here? It's just you. Probably some sort of low-grade fever. Take a couple Tylenol and go to bed. Tuck me in. In your dreams. Box oh, ticking, man. You don't get into bed. You owe me 50 bucks. Do I look worried? Give it to me straight. Be totally brutally honest. Fine. Don't stop to ask yourself, is this going to crush Scott like a bug on the windshield of life? Just hit me with it. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> Does Brenda actually like me? Uh, no. Seriously? No. How would I know? Go ask her. Well, she came to the Druid party, which is good. Then afterwards, I walked her home, which normally is an excellent sign. Thanks. Well, there you go, man. Except that the last thing she said was, see you around. Now, is that a total kiss off? Uh, Scotty. <laughs> All this druid garbage. And why did I even start? I'm such a loser. Hey, you could contradict that, you know. Hey. Jen, where are you? Um, I'm great. Hey. No, public place. I wasn't proposing we have sex here. Something wrong? No, of course not. It's good to see you. So do I look different? To fallen? <laughs> I've been thinking about it all weekend. I've been thinking about you. What? How was Victoria? Oh, you know, the usual. Tons of relatives. It was the longest 48 hours I ever spent. How was yours? Yeah, the usual. So, how do you feel? I guess a little weird, but great. Yeah? Yeah. Get to class. Where's the guy with the mop? What? You know, the guy that follows you around just in case you have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Woodbridge. You know how they say one day you'll look back on this and laugh? Well, guess what, man? You won't. <laughs> He got home at 2 o'clock in the morning and he was pissed. Literally. Tell them, Aaron. My brother peed himself at Captain Jack's. Oh. <laughs> when he got home, he was drenched. Aaron said he was basically squelching. Oh. Come on, tell the story. He chained himself to the table as part of some protest that never happened. Then he spent the next three hours drinking coffee. Um, when Maggie goes to lock up, she finds out he doesn't have a key to the padlock. So she locks him in and goes home. But when she comes back later with a hacksaw, it's too late. He's already <laughs> sitting in a pond. <gasps> Craig is a total loser, okay? He's not my brother. He's an alien. Tell me about it. <laughs> hey, you. Brenda. Hi. I haven't had a chance to tell you I really enjoyed Friday night. You mean you didn't think it was stupid? Or, well, not stupid, but unusual? Well, that was the whole point, that we have to be open to alternative spiritualities. It was loads of fun and very affirming. Absolutely. And I really enjoyed your company. In fact, I almost thought you might call me over the weekend. You mean, if I wanted to, like, phone you sometime, that, that'd be all right? Well, sure. <laughs>
Next week's going to be pretty major, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Have you decided what you're going to do yet? Um, no, not exactly. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still working on the details. Well, let me know when you do. Oh, yeah, you bet. What's supposed to happen next week? If all goes well, the sun will rise, the sun will set, the sun will rise again. No, besides that. Beats me. You know, a hardworking girl is very sexy. You should close the windows. The bugs are getting in. You mind if I join you? Absolutely. I'm busy. Annika, I've been thinking. 